everybody. We are fortunate enough to be here today at the West Lawrence High School and we are going to interview the high school football cheerleading team. And we're going to start out with some of the freshmen on the team. And please tell me your name. My name's Morgan Tucker. What about you? Macy Solomon. Hey Macy and Morgan, so thanks for talking to us today. Can you just tell me a little bit, one at a time, about what it means for you to be a cheerleader here at West Lawrence? What it means for me to be a cheerleader here at West Lawrence is to like show like others and like be like help others out and like just like be good and like be like an influence on other people. That's awesome. What about you? Um, what it means to me is to show spirit wherever you go and whatever you do and to always have a smile on your face. That's a good one. Um, so you guys, who supports you? Who comes to see you and, and kind of really is your main support in, in your cheer endeavor? My mom, my dad, and all of my siblings. You have a lot of brothers and sisters? Yes. Are you the oldest or have you had a family history? Has anyone else in your family been a cheerleader? Yes, my sister actually cheers with the West Lawrence team too. Awesome. What's her name? Mackenzie. Awesome. Well, I guess we'll talk to Mackenzie soon. Um, tell me a little bit about how you bring spirit just in school every day. Um, well, if we have like a theme, I always like dress out or wear like our West Orange jersey and yeah, I guess that, I don't know. Just try to be spirited throughout the day, right? Awesome. Well, thank you, girls. We're going to talk to the rest of the team and see some of the great work that you guys do um, with some of your cheers later on, too. Okay. Hey, we're back with a couple more girls now, and I want you to tell me what your name is and what Friday Night Lights means to you. My name is Lexi Lohman, and Friday Night Lights mean to me. I just like to be out there trying to get everyone um, happy and like really spirited about the game. Awesome. Hello. Hello. Tell me your name. Jay and Jay <laughs> That's all right. And then tell me a little bit about um, how getting out in the community as a cheerleader has helped you, like, grow as a person. Um, well, getting out in the community helps you meet new people and you get to learn things like how to help others. And I guess, like, different things. Are you proud to be a Raider? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So, hey there. Tell me your name and tell me a little bit about the commitment that it takes to be a cheerleader. My name is Hayden Harris, and the commitment of being a cheerleader is just practice, practicing a lot and just making sure you have it down. So does practice kind of go throughout the summer and stuff like that, or do you, do you have to come in before school or after school? Um, you have to come in before school, like during, so, during the summer and after school, usually. Wow, so it does take a lot, a lot of commitment in your time. Hey there. Hey. Um, tell me your name, and tell me, define what it means to be a cheerleader to you. My name is Michaela Jackson, and being a cheerleader to me is like being a good role model to others and like show spirit no matter what. Absolutely. Even if you're not feeling it. Um, what team do you like to play? Is there a particular team that when they when you guys play them each year it means a lot to you? Dodge County. Dodge County. We just had them the other day, didn't we? Yes, I thought that one was going to slip through, but we <laughs> pulled <too>. it out. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, we're here with a couple more girls, and I would like for you to tell me what your name is, introduce yourself, and then tell me a little bit about their, if, if I'm understanding right, there are two different cheer teams. There's a competition team and the spirit team or the, yes, the game team. Tell me your name and a little bit about that. My name is Alana Miller, and we do have a spirit team and a competition team, and competition is definitely much more work but it also involves many more things like stunting and tumbling and jumps, but they are both very similar at the same time. So you are on both teams, yes, is that right? Well, congratulations, Thank and you. Um, you are also on both yes, teams. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Uh, my name is Kami Gay, and I'm on competition cheer team and um, the football cheer team. And although they're both challenging, they're both really fun, and I love supporting my school. 
Can you tell me, like, what's the major difference? Like, the competition team, what do they do that's different than just cheering at the football games? The competition cheer team, we have to do stunts and tumbling, which involves a lot of more, like, athletic ability. The spirit cheer team, you're cheering on your team and um, doing motions and cheers and dances, but I love them both. So. Awesome. Thank you, girls, very much. All right, I am here with a couple of more of these beautiful cheerleaders. And can you tell me your name and talk to me a little bit about how you guys go out and gather sponsors? My name is Timmy Smith, and my dad works at Fleet Steel, so it makes it easier for me to go gather sponsors because he's been working there for a long time. So they don't mind helping me out when it comes down to getting sponsors. So when you go there, do you take, like, pictures with those guys for the programs? How does that work? Um, we take football pictures. Um before the season starts. And like, what we will do is we'll ask them like to sponsor us. And then we'll, on, on our picture, we got like a big old cardboard picture and they can put like a quote or something at the bottom of it, or they can just put their um, company name. So when you go out in the community like that and you're representing the school, like does that, how do you make, how does that make you grow personally when you have to kind of, you know, man up and speak to somebody and, and ask them for funds for your, for your team? I mean, I help, I think it helps me when it, like, when it comes down to the real world, because I know when I get older, I'm going to have to communicate with different people and, like, go out and, like, like job interviews. Like, I'm going to have to sit down with people one-on-one -on -one and, like, so they can see who I am and I can get to know who they are and I just won't be one-sided my whole life. Like, I can expand. Yeah, that's true. So, tell me your name as well and tell me about some of the other things that you guys do that are fundraiser events. All right, my name is Mackenzie Tucker and... Some of the fundraisers that we do is we sell some t-shirts and we do cookie dough fundraisers, bracelets, and a lot more <laughs> that I can't think of. I love that cookie dough. Do you have any right now? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but that's mostly what we do is to help us and the team like just be able to go places together. So when you say it helps the team, like the monies that you make, it allows you all to go to things like competitions? Do you, do you compete or, or where do you go? How do you use those fundraising monies? Well, competition, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, we do a lot of like FCA camp that mm -hmm. we fundraise for that to let us go there and learn more about. Yeah, they could, they're costly. And you go for a week in the summer? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> Thank you girls so much. Hi, I'm Chuck Harwell from Community Bank, and I would like to remind you that we're here to help you with all your financial needs. We can help you with loans for almost everything from getting married, buying your first car, getting ready for a new baby, buying a house, or going to college. You see, we're the bank that lives up to our name, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We're Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, where common sense banking never goes out of style. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amata equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amata, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amata dealer. Amata lasts and lasts and lasts. Hey guys, we're back with a couple more girls and tell me your name and tell me what the definition of a cheerleader means to you. Okay, I'm Ashley Boland and what a cheerleader means to me is being someone that uh, like little girls look up to or just people in general. Like we should be like good role models and like kind and just show love to everybody no, no matter who they are. And so when you go out there on Friday nights, how do you feel? How does it make you feel to be that cheerleader? Um, it makes me feel excited knowing I can make people excited and um, be there to support my team and just represent my school in whatever I do. 
awesome. And so tell me who you are and tell me a little bit about how do you guys as cheerleaders work to get the students and the fans, you know, involved and kind of hyped up for the game? Okay, well, my name's Alex, and this year we started incorporating a lot more signs in the cheers we do, trying to, like, get them involved, and we try to, like, do a bunch of, like, movements to, like, get them, like, interacted and try to, like, bring the spirit out in them, so... Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like it would be better, you know, the more people that yeah. you can get excited and, and bring that pep and that spirit to. Yeah. It's just infectious, and yes, it, it just goes through the it crowd, does. right? Yes. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Hey, guys, we got a couple more of the cheerleaders here with us today. Um, tell me, I would like for you to introduce yourself, and tell me a little bit about things that the cheerleaders do to involve the students like Spirit Week. Um, my name is Rebecca Paul Hill, and for Spirit Week, um, each day of the week, we have a different, like, dress-up thing for everybody mm -hmm. to get involved with, and some of the few things that we've done in the past is, like, camo and, like, tacky tourists and some of the fun things like that. And so mostly Spirit Week, if I'm correct, that's leading into, like, the week of homecoming? Yes, ma'am. And West Lauren hasn't has theirs yet, right? No, ma'am. So that's coming up. Is it something you're really looking forward to? I am. And I'm very excited. I bet. And the student, the whole student body, you try to get them involved and mm -hmm. dressed up in some crazy outfits and such? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Next, we have Miss Riley Clare. Tell me your full name, Riley Clare. And it's my understanding that you've had a previous family member who was a cheerleader before you. Um, I'm Riley Clare Cardwell, and my older sister, Zoe, she used to cheer here at West Lawrence, and she really helped me and we were going into tryouts and she told me everything I needed to know for cheer. And she's also been such a role model for me of how to be not only as a cheerleader, but as a person too. Well, that's wonderful. Um, what, a, what a family tradition here at West Lawrence that you're, you're getting to carry on now. That's really great. Thanks, guys. All right. So tell me your name, and then tell me about who in your family or your friend circle comes to support you at the games and what that means to you. My name is Caroline Shank, and my mom and dad and sister are usually at pretty much every single game, and they come support me by being there and just showing me support. Awesome. And I'm sure that makes you proud that your family comes and you can look up in the crowd and, and see them and it gives you like courage, you know, for the night and all that. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Hello. Hi. Tell me your name and tell me a little bit about what it means, what Friday Night Lights means to you. When you step out on that field, how does it make you feel? My name is Raina Upshaw, and when I step up out on the field, it just makes my adrenaline go, and it makes an overwhelming excitement, and all your blood is pumping, and it's just like a feeling that you can't explain. It's an amazing feeling. And I, I guess one of your main goals is to, like, transfer that feeling to the crowd and just get everybody excited to be there. Yes, you know, on that. we try and get the crowd involved and get them as energetic as we are. Yeah, that's great. Um, you do some, like, interactive cheers with the crowd and stuff like that? Yes, ma'am. We call out cheers, and we tell our Rowdy Raiders to say them back to us, and they normally do. Oh, good. Well, I, I want to come and, like, be involved in that one night. You should. Thanks, guys. So, hello, Jaden. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for talking to us today. I just want to ask you, tell me your full name when I take a breath here, and, and tell me what it means for you to be a cheerleader, and how you prepared for a cheerleader. Like, did you take courses, tumbling, dance? How, yes. did, how did you prepare? My name is Jaden Passmore, and to be a cheerleader to me is to be a role model to all the younger kids, like, who look up to us. And, yes, you do have to prepare a lot to be a cheerleader, like, go to tumbling classes and um, practice your cheers for tryouts and things like that. So, yes, it's a lot. And it's special. I, I, I would think that you guys take a lot of pride when you put your bow on and you step out there on Friday nights. Yes, um, I hope that you're proud to represent your team. Yes, How does... I am. I'm very proud to represent West Lawrence. Awesome. So go blue, go Raiders. <laughs> right. Hello. Hi. Tell me your name and tell me a little bit about how you guys get out in the community and fundraise or get sponsors and, and then how you know how you work with those people throughout the year. Yes, ma'am. My name's Ella Newsom and we do a lot of we do a thing of like we sell T shirts, we sold cookie dough one year. We just try to sell a lot of things, but as well as we get out in the community and we try to volunteer and we try to 
represent West Lawrence cheerleading in a good way and that we're there to help people. Like this past weekend, we actually went to this Rents Park and this literacy event and just we're there yeah. helping and cleaning. So um, just getting out there and representing us and being seen as something people like and encourage kind of helps them want to donate and want to sponsor us. So. And I would imagine that it helps you kind of just grow as a person and get that special feeling in your heart when you do something good for someone else. Yes, ma'am. It really does give you lots of opportunities to go out there and help. And then once you find it and realize it's something that you enjoy doing, you can go find opportunities on your own outside of cheer. That's really wonderful. Thank yes, you so much. Bailey's Flooring is a proud sponsor of high school football. Count on the team at Bailey's Flooring for quality name brand carpet and flooring with professional installation. Bailey's Flooring has all the latest product innovations and is a proven contractor of commercial and residential customers. And check out the selection of vinyl and carpet in stock at Bailey's Flooring. Call 290-6084. Jeff Shepard here at Roach Farm and Garden. Deer season is here. Come to see us at Roach Farm and Garden. We got all your deer hunt necessities. We carry five-way, three-way, Harvest Advantage, iron clay peas, wheats and oats, daikon radishes, a bruiser rye, and big boss rye, buck forage, and annual rye. We will make your food plots look right. We have all your supplies of deer feed, 17 and 24% protein, QDM and 4S. We even carry 4S draw in the blocking bags. And when you get that deer, we've got something to cook him with, from grills to griddles to your deep fryers. You want clothes? We got a full line of Georgia boot, Rocky boot, and all the Carhartt that you could need. And for your pelletized grill, we have any flavor you need. We have ladder stands by Millennium and Amherstep, replacement seats, protein blocks, salt blocks, and attractants, and a full line of coolers. And don't forget to pick your supply up of voodoo while you're in there. It's at the counter. Don't forget, everything you need for deer season is right here at Roach Farm and Garden. Two locations, Wrightsville and Dublin. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Hey, now we are here with Abby Mullis, and Abby is a cheerleader that is on the competition and the spirit cheer team. And so she's going to tell us a little bit more about why there are two teams and what the difference is between the teams. The teams are, there are two because one is more of a get the crowd involved, get the school body involved in football games, basketball, theme night, spirit week. And then competition is like, it's more commitment. And we're here every day until six. We go to tumbling and stunt class and we do competitions on Saturday. So yeah, a big, a big difference. <laughs> and is. how many people are that are on the team are on the dual teams do there you know? are 16 on competition and do they all also cheer on spirit yes ma'am okay so great everybody is that's on competition mm -hmm. is on spirit hi there hi so please tell me your name and i wanted to know that if you had anything that you were going to say to a younger student maybe an elementary or middle school person that wanted to try out for cheerleading what advice would you give them my name is Lauren Patterson, and if there's a couple of things I could tell anyone who coming up wanting to try out for high school cheer, it would be to make sure when you come into tryouts to be very rowdy and like Bill's very big on showing spirit. And although it feels very awkward, she really does enjoy you going in and like kind of making a fool, you know, like go Raiders. That really does help. And even if like you don't know the entire dance or the cheer or whatever, just be sharp in what you do know and always have a smile on your face. Because that personality can really yes. shine through and make a big difference, right? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Thank you so much. So we're back with three more of the cheerleaders that are juniors in high school here at West Lawrence. And I'm going to 
Let's start with you. Tell me your name, please, and just tell me basically what it means to you to be a cheerleader and how you like incorporate that into your everyday life. Okay. My name is Cameron Ramsey, and I think to be a cheerleader, it means that you're a role model for everyone in the school, all the younger kids that look up to you, and yeah. <laughs> So it's you next, please. Tell me your name and then tell me, I understand that you have a crowd that comes with you I each do, week. And tell me what that means to you to have that kind of support. My name is Bailey Horn and it just feels really great knowing that your family is there to support you and will always be behind you with no matter what you do, especially in children because it's, it's one of my favorite sports and it just feels really good to have them like, you know, there for me and always supporting what I do. Awesome. So tell me your name and tell me a little bit about what you did to prepare to be a cheerleader. Like what does cheerleading mean to you and, and, and what do you do every day to make sure that you're in cheerleader mode? Okay. Uh, my name is Anna Grace Myers and cheerleading to me means the opportunity to be a role model for younger girls and anyone who wants to make a difference. I believe that Cheerleaders must conduct themselves in a certain way, not only in their uniform, but also all around the school and everywhere they go, because everyone is always looking up to you, as Bill says. Um, to prepare, I really just get with a few of my buds who also cheer and learn my cheers and dances. Mm, I remember to be sharp and tight so I can perform my best on Friday nights. And that's really special when you step out there and represent the school on it Friday is. nights, right? Nothing like it. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, and now we are here with some of the seniors on the cheer team. Um, please tell me your name and tell me a little bit about what it means to you. Because as a senior, you're kind of the top of the echelon of the cheerleaders, and you're kind of the biggest role model for the school. You're very visible. Tell me what it means to you to to be that senior cheerleader? Well, um, my name's Rayleigh Lloyd, and I am a senior. And to be like a leader to everyone and to make sure that I'm always on my best behavior and being a good role model for our little cheerleaders to show them that they do have something to look up forward to and that it doesn't have to be just cheer. It could be making new friends and making a family out of your cheer life and being able to take it outside of just high school. Yeah, the things you learn, you know, just from your public responsibilities, yes. et cetera, have probably been really good throughout your cheer career. Very. That's awesome. Hi there. Hi. Please tell me your name and tell me a little bit, it's my understanding that you might want to cheer in college. My name is Molly Hutto and I do plan to cheer in college either at the University of West Georgia or Georgia Southern University. And uh how do you even start with that? Do you, is there an application? Do you contact the school? Do they recruit you kind of like they do an athlete? How, does, how do you even get started with that? Um, there is clinics that you can go to for you to, um, there's stunt clinics and tumble clinics that you can go to kind of show off what you've learned and they kind of notice you there and I've never really noticed any type of scholarships you can get until this year. The University of West Georgia has gotten uh, like a grant to do um, scholarships with cheerleaders and so I'm looking forward to figuring out some more about that to try to get a head start on everything with that. So grades will really play into that as well as your athletic ability I would assume? Yes ma'am and even on like the high school team we're expected to have straight A's and have um, have exceed the standards on everything and have and so that'll play out into after school high school and stuff into going into college. Yeah, because you guys really are a really visible role model that, you know, everybody does see in the school. And, yes. and I imagine it's a little bit of pressure to kind of keep up that, you know. Just a tad. <laughs> Just a tad. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. And we really look forward to seeing you on Friday nights and, and, and kind of taking your senior roles to the level of, you know, greatness that I know that you are after all this many years of practice. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thank you. All right. We are here with a couple more of our senior cheerleaders, and I want them to introduce ourselves. And can you please tell me, like, what it means to you to be a cheerleader? What has it meant for you throughout your career to be in this role? 
My name is Sierra Harris, and cheerleading has been a big part of my life. It's helped me, like, get out there more and, like, have more friends and talk to new people. If I see somebody not having any friends, I'll go out there and talk to them because cheer has helped me with that. And um, how about public speaking and just being comfortable in front of a crowd? It has helped me with that a lot. I've had to do other interviews, like, through cheer, so it's helped me to be able to talk to people. Well, good. That's a good thing. Um, enjoy the rest of your season, Thank your you. last year. <laughs> Hi there. Hey. So tell me, there's a very important person that you guys have mentioned a couple times in the interviews, and you all say Beal, but mm -hmm. tell me about Beal. Tell me who this person is and, and what she has meant to your team. Okay, um, I'm Elissa Solomon, and Holly Beal is just great. She's, um... She's just like a second mom, I feel like, to all of us because, like, as, like, cheerleaders, we're just, like, you kind of grow into, like, a family and then just, like, she's just, like, someone, like, we've all looked up to and, like, she's just, she, like, we know, like, we can always count on her. Like, she'll always be there for us. And she's also just, like, someone we can joke around with and have fun and she's just all around a great person. <laughs> well, you, you do. You, you spend a lot of time together. You know, it takes a lot of commitment to be a cheerleader, a lot of practice time. And so, you know, she, she kind of is taking the place of your mom and being there, you know, to She has heal. the attitude of one. I saw that a little <laughs> bit myself. Yeah. I said, go, girl. I liked her. Um, well, thank you, guys. I thank mean, you. just one last thing. Just kind of what does it mean to you? Just kind of just explain to me the feeling that you get, each one of you, when you step out on that field on Friday nights, especially your seniors, and you know that this is the last time that, you know, you will be representing West. West Lawrence yeah um I mean just like you said like we are representing West Lawrence and it's like people kind of look at us to like be the ones to like start the energy and carry out that energy and so that's just what I feel I just feel like I'm a energy leader <laughs> that's awesome what about you knowing it's, that this is your last year it's very bittersweet this year knowing it's my last like year going out in the field and cheering on the Raiders because like we're there to cheer, on, to cheer them on even if they're winning or losing so it's true it's true. Well, guys, I thank you very much for talking to us today. Um, it's very important. I mean, you guys, you guys do have a big role, and um, you're spirited, and you're fun, and you're giggly, and, and I've enjoyed talking to you guys today. Thank you. Thanks thank a lot. You. <laughs> First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rural, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. Hey, my name is Chloe Zickley. I do paintings for the Angel Babies. I raised $2,040 last year and that all went to charity to the Salvation Army. If you are interested in getting one, you can come to the Carlotta V. Stubblin right across from the Dairy Queen.